Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar with teddybaldassar.com. And in this video, we're looking at a watch from Certina in titanium, their DS Action Diver at 38 millimeters. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldassar.com as an authorized dealer. So in this video, deep dive in this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout the video, if you have further questions or are looking to buy the watch, check out the link in the description down below to the product page. But without further ado, let's jump into the video, and take a closer look at this watch. While perhaps not a household name that is known by every enthusiast, Certina has deep roots in the industry and history of innovation in the tool watch space that has garnered a niche following while also being one of the best selling brands for its segment in different parts of Europe. Founded in 1888, Certina started to catch its stride in the earlier part of the 20th century, developing an esteemed reputation in the industry. Then in 1959 though, they developed and unveiled one of the most impactful developments with its DS or double security case, an ingenious concept wherein the caliber is encapsulated within a shock absorbing ring, helping to prevent the adverse effects on timekeeping stemming from impacts. In addition, a novel crown and gasket system utilized a proprietary approach for a watertight seal, enabling 200 meters of water resistance during the time period when dive watches were just getting off the ground. Though Certina is closely associated with a number of pioneering explorations, the DS family of watches is most closely linked with the underwater applications such as the U.S. government's Tektite Underwater Habitat Trials in 1969 and 1970, where divers were issued the DS2 Super PH500M during the experiment. Shortly thereafter, the Certina DS3 Super PH1000M became the issued watch of the Royal Australian Navy clearance divers and remained so for the bulk of the 1970s, lending a sense of legitimacy to Certina's DS collection even further. And while the brand still leans into its impressive diving laurels with heritage models throughout their collection, the DS series carries forward the brand's technical diving roots in a more modern aesthetic design package. In this video, we take a closer look at a special watch, not just for Certina, but for the broader industry by way of its incredible value for a titanium dive watch with the Certina DS Action Diver Titanium, available at 38 millimeters and 43 millimeters, but we'll concentrate on the smaller 38 millimeter option. Looking first at the case dimensions, Certina has utilized their smaller 38 millimeter case diameter, pairing it with a thickness of 12.2 millimeters and a compact lug to lug of 45 millimeters. Thanks to the somewhat restrained wearing dimensions and the sheer lightness associated with the full titanium construction, the DS Action Titanium wears relatively true to size, feeling smaller than that of its stainless steel counterparts, while never being a burden while on wrist, which can often be a concern for bulky ISO 6425 compliant dive watches. Set between 19 millimeter lugs, the DS Action Diver opts for a titanium three link bracelet, primarily sporting vertical brushing that are less detectable by way of the more matte, darker hue of titanium. The bracelet terminates at a conventional three piece clasp with a mixture of milled and stamped components. And while the latch adds security, it can require a little bit more work than normal to get a solid grip. The bracelet can easily be adjusted through the use of pins while featuring a diver's extension, offering a small amount of micro adjustment in the clasp and the inclusion of half links as well. Returning to the case architecture, fine brushing runs vertically along the case sides, transitioning at almost 90 degrees to the case top and bottom. At three o'clock, prominent crown guards flank a screw down crown that deviates from the central case's choice of material, instead utilizing stainless steel with a polished finish, deeply cut grooves around its circumference, and the DS signature on top. The polished steel screw down case back contrasts from the surrounding titanium, emblazoned with Certina's signature turtle relief. Between the crown and the case back, the DS Action Diver offers 300 meters of water resistance, a solid level of aquatic capability for a watch in this price range. Returning to the dial side, a finely grooved 120 click unidirectional titanium bezel provides a snappy tactile feedback while holding the brownish gray aluminum bezel insert with white printed indices providing minute markings, a 15 minute diver counter, and a triangle at 60 surrounding the uniquely colored light blue superluminova loom pit. Resting just above the level of the bezel, a flat sapphire crystal with an outer sham neatly matches the angle of the bezel while being coated with several layers of anti-reflective coating on its underside only, working excellent in practice and making this watch easy to view at a variety of viewing angles. Sloping away from the central surface, a slanted chapter ring with the minute markings surrounds the flat gray dial. Large polished applied hour indices differentiate at 12, six and nine for legibility, while the three o'clock marker is omitted in favor of a faceted date window. At its center, a polished arrow hour hand and sharpened pencil minute 
in at hand, each coming with a generous application of loom that rests under the sweeping second hand with its own unique small loom pip. The Sortina logo, name, and the original year of manufacturing are printed at 12. And at six, another reminder that this watch is made of titanium with the Powermatic 80 movement callout and water resistance rating being right there as well. Overall, the legibility is great, an important aspect for a dive watch where timing can be critical if you are actually one of the rare people utilizing this for such a thing. And even works well at night with that cool blue hued superluminova that emits a strong glow. As denoted on the dial, the Certina DS Action Diver family relies on the workhorse Powermatic 80 movement from ETA within the Swatch Group. A unique aspect though for Certina is the use of their DS system pioneered by the brand. The technology utilizes an O-ring gasket to encase the movement while creating a small pocket of air between the dial and the case, allowing it to move ever so slightly in all directions, thus mitigating the negative effects on timekeeping that can occur when introducing shocks or bumps. Certina has also opted for the slightly higher grade automatic version of this movement with the ETA C07.611, which utilizes the base architecture from the ETA 2824, features a traditional escapement wheel and pallet, and having a Nivicron balance spring. The movement is able to achieve an impressive 80 hours of power reserve through dropping the base caliber's frequency from 4 hertz, 28,800 vibrations per hour to a slower 3 hertz, 21,600 vibrations per hour. The movement also does feature hacking and hand winding, hacking stop in the second hand when you pull the crown to the farthest position. A quick set date is also there. And we did test this watch across five different positions. When testing across those five different positions, it ran between minus one to plus six seconds a day. Keep in mind, this is anecdotal evidence, but we'd like to offer up this to people to get a sense and idea for the watches that we are reviewing. All right, so now to unpack when looking at the certificate Tina DS Action Diver in titanium. Start with some cons that will shift into some pros. First, whenever looking at Certina, it is one of the underrated, underappreciated brands from the Swatch Group, especially in the segment of $700 to $1,200 or more. Their, most of their watches are going to be falling. This does lead to some maybe just not wanting to go in this direction because of it being more of an underdog choice. There's less buyers potentially out there, less brand equity, but it still is a very solid brand. But I believe that does need to be mentioned. Also, there probably could be some more micro adjustment in this clasp. I think this bracelet is great. I think this whole presentation in terms of finishing and all the details, this is an enthusiast brand in terms of how they're delivering their watches and looking at the specifications. It would be nice to get a bit more micro adjustment in this clasp, especially for the titanium variant. And then finally, the color choice here is going to potentially be limiting for some. It's very muted, it's rather cold, but if you're somebody that likes a titanium case, I think this will be right down your alley, but you don't have as many options available to you as you do with other collections. But now let's shift over into some of the pros. And I think the first thing I have to mention here, and why this watch is ultimately unique, is this is a fully titanium case and bracelet watch right around $1,000 made in Switzerland. That is remarkable value and quite frankly, very tough to compete against. Certina, you could argue, maybe makes the best or one of the best eye watches for $1,000 in Switzerland. It is that good. The DS system plus the movement gives you a lot of peace of mind here. 80 hours of power reserve, the DOT 611, Nivicron balance spring. This is an ISO rated dive watch, so it is to that professional standard. But what makes this watch special to me is Think about it. What do you have available to you from Switzerland for a mechanical Swiss dive watch around this price segment? Say even $2,000, $3,000. We have seen this game where many brands have made it this premium experience to get into titanium when the reality is it's a durable material that is meant for utility. And Certina is not deviating far from the path here. Their watches are made for professional specification and they're done at a price that are very tough to beat in today's world of watchmaking. All right, everybody. Well, that's all we have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon. That does help out the channel and I would appreciate that. In addition, if you are in the market for this watch, we do have it available on teddybaldasar.com. Teddybaldasar.com is an authorized dealer of over 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. And how we're able to fund all of our productions on the main channel is through selling watches. So if you're in the market, we'd absolutely love to have your business because it allows us to keep doing what we're doing and we love what we do. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.